Hey everyone, I'm going to be filming a video kind of review slash haul unboxing type thing and it is going to be on Honest Beauty. I have gotten two boxes, I have purchased two boxes from them and so far I've been really liking it. Uh, it's kind of nice to know that you're putting good stuff on your skin and I haven't really researched it and I'm not too totally into clean, green, all natural makeup but I kind of want to dive into more of what primers and foundations that are actually touching your skin. I kind of want that to be more natural and cruelty free is always good. But more on the box, uh, the first box that I did receive was in November. Excuse me, and it's already April of 2016. So it's not monthly, it is $50 per box I would say because you can change your delivery times to four, six, or eight weeks. And as long as you stay on top of it, your bundle will come in, like my last one was in November and then this is April. So I basically went five months without ordering it. And this stuff lasted, I used it as soon as I got it. And their return policy is amazing, their customer service. Someone actually picks up the phone when I, when I called. And I originally got the Tinted Beauty SPF 30. It was like a, uh, it's not even tinted. They call it like a sheer tint moisturizer with SPF 30, but it didn't have any tint. That's not what I didn't like about it. It was kind of oily for me and it just sat on my skin. So when I put the foundation on, it would kind of like ball up. So I don't have their foundation yet. What I am wearing right now is their tinted moisturizer, but I'll show that in a minute. But the first box, I don't know where the full size is, but I got the Younger Face Deep Hydration Cream. This was just a little trial that I got to start up my subscription. I do have the full size. Uh, the next one I got, bought, was the Honest Beauty Refreshingly Clean Gel Cleanser. This has chamomile calendula to help calm and soothe. Yucca root and saponaria provide a fresh, foamy cleansing experience to remove dirt and makeup without any harsh ingredients that can strip or overdry your skin. It is SLS, SLES, sulfates, parabens, patholates, formaldehyde, PEG, MEA, DEA, TEA, methylesylthiazolinon, <laughs> stereth dash in, fragrances, and dyes. And that's what it's free of. And it's kind of scary to think that's what's in your everyday cleanser. Um, if you do break up the $50, three, uh, the $50 price for each item, time divided by three, that makes each item $16.66. Now, you do get free shipping if you get the box, so that's pretty much a flat rate, and they're all full size. The only thing that's not full size is when you order the trial kit for five or six dollars, I believe. But you also have to be aware that when you order the trial kit, you are automatically subscribed, so if you don't cancel it, at least make sure that you go into the Honest Beauty website into the bundles and make sure that if the little trials isn't what you wanted or you want to try something else, make sure you're adjusting your bundles to the stuff you want to try if you didn't like this stuff because this is what's going to come in your first box. You got seven days, I believe, to tell them that you don't want it or you do want it, but you should change the stuff out if the three trial products isn't what you really liked. But anyways, I haven't dug into the full size of this yet. I'm still working on the small one. I don't use it every day. It seems kind of rich. I started getting little milia right here and a couple of clogged pores. It could just be my skin um, detoxing from the good ingredients. I don't know yet. I'm going to see if I like the breakouts. Right now my skin's kind of angry on me because we went out of town and I forgot to do my normal regimen so it takes normally five or six days for my skin to show stress or if I wasn't taking care of my skin properly so that's why I got the breakouts but this so far I have been liking and the return policy as I was saying before is that they sent out my replacement item which was the primer they sent that out before I even sent my item that I didn't want in and they were so nice and the fact that I got this within two days was awesome. I really appreciate that kind of customer service. I like knowing that there's someone else on the other end of the phone that's there to listen to you and just not listen to you complain or anything, but just you, you have someone to talk to. It's not a machine. So I really appreciate that. And Honest Beauty definitely has that. Um, Honest Beauty Everything Primer. 
This promises to illuminate your skin, minimize the appearance of pores with this multitasking primer. It has hyaluronic acid and pretty much they all have like calendula and stuff like that. But I really like the primer. I'm not going to say that it minimizes all my pores because I have pretty big pores right here. And it's not going to make these disappear. It does help minimize the appearance. So instead of my, peer, my pores looking like huge gaping holes, it does make my skin a little bit more smoother. And it is really nice for moisturizing. And you can tell when, sorry, this is blinding you. You can tell when it's not, um, you can tell when it's not moisturizing. You can tell when there's an actual difference in your skin because I can switch over from the Hangover RX from Too Faced and you can see a little bit of a difference. Same consistency though, like, and it just comes out in this tinted, but it doesn't, it's not really tinted. It's just the color of it. And then it smooths to this really nice, base for your makeup and the smell isn't bad it kind of smells like lemon balm you know those hotel soaps the shampoos that have a citrusy scent it kind of smells like that to me but it's not a bad smell and it doesn't have fragrance in it so their skincare isn't going to smell the greatest at least you know you don't you, you don't have the synthetic fake fragrances that help break down collagen that will make your wrinkles show up later. And I already get this. I don't want to, I don't want anything else making it worse than it already is. And then next, the cleanser. I have had this since November and I don't even think, yeah, I'm not even halfway done, or I am about halfway done with it. And all you need is a nickel drop and it foams up. Even if you have one of those little silicone scrubbies or you're a Clarisonic, I personally don't have a Clarisonic but it's lasted, it's not even halfway, and the smell isn't bad. It's kind of herbally, it doesn't, it smells like soap, but a clean soap, so this I also like. This is what I didn't take with me on my trip and my skin is hating me for it, but these were really nice. And then the box that I got on April 1st, I'm not gonna show you my address, it came really nicely packaged. There was bubble wrap in the sheet and I did get one extra item. Now if you add an extra item to your bundles, these are add-ons, they take 25% off. So instead of these being eight to $10, I think I paid five or six. And these are just dependably clear blotting sheets. Soft, pure, unbleached hemp and wood fibers to absorb excess oil and dirt, helps remove shine and unclogged pores for more dependably skin, clear skin all day, every day. I haven't cracked these open yet, but I love having blotting sheets more towards the hot weather because these just help your makeup. They don't disturb your makeup, but they take the excess oil off and it says it's made without oils, talc, preservatives, fragrances, or dyes. So knowing that some of the brands actually put like dyes and stuff, I mean, I know the clean and clear ones just aren't automatically blue, but it's just nice to know you're not putting extra stuff on your skin that you don't need to. Um, next, I also got the Concealer Duo in Balanced Beige. This one matches me perfectly. There isn't any complaint. The packaging is really shiny though, guys, I'm sorry. It comes with a little plastic protective covering. I'm gonna try not to blind you. That's just the packaging. And then it opens up to a peachy concealer and then one you can hide blemishes with. Uh, my suggestions are if you have an Ulta or heck, if you even have an Honest Beauty store ne uh, near you, before you invest the $50 a month, sorry, blinding you again, before you invest the $50 a month, just go see what color matches you. I mean, even though their customer service is amazing, you are getting a better deal getting the bundle. And their customer service is so great that you wouldn't have to go to Ulta. Like, if you don't have one near you, like, I would put my faith that they would take care of you. And then the concealer has chamomile, calendula, jojoba, Infused concealer invisibly blends into skin. It's not a dry formula. It's kind of like an oily um, It's a nice soft formula. It's not gonna it didn't crease on me and I have pretty fine crinkles right here um, I think my next bundle I'm going to get the magic balm that way I can help smooth this out But you kind of want to warm it between your fingers combats uneven looking skin tone and under eye dark circles Smooth finish prevents caking and creasing. Combine the two shades for a perfect match every time. Blend in to stand out. 
and it's pretty much, it is what it is. It's a concealer. Uh, I did buy the Juice Beauty one, the, Pido, the Fido pigments, and that one was such a dry formula. That concealer was nothing like the display. This one is exactly like the display at my Ulta. I got it in the mail, I tried it, and I was like, yes, it's the same. So um, I really love this. I have it on under my eyes right now, and these are pretty angry breakouts right now. So even using a concealer, the red's still kind of peeking through. So I did put the concealer over here, but they're just so inflamed right now. Uh, let's see. Next, I got the eyeshadow trio in Truly Vibrant Ocean Blue. My mistake when I used these was that I used the concealer as a primer. Remember how I said it was oily consistency? It, it made the eyeshadows crease and not stay on me. So that was user error. That was not this. Um, I am not wearing them today because I wanted to try out this Monster Cosmetics. And these dark blues with this just look totally off. But these are the prettiest blues. There's like a dark blue teal, a navy blue, and a tinted silver with blue in it. And these, I know I probably should swipe with a brush, but I'm going to get this one, the green one, and the mauve. And this is what they look like. It is just so pretty. My hands made it funny. Uh, woo. And there is a little bit of a duo. No, I wouldn't call it duochrome. There's a little bit of a sheen here. Let me make that one darker for the camera, guys. I wouldn't call it a duochrome exactly, but that was pretty much one swipe. But the camera, the lighting in here, the clouds. But this is so pretty. I'm happy I picked up the blue. I'm going to get the green one next. And these are good for 12 months after you open it. And it does come with a look card. I'm going to get blue all over this thing. It does come with a look card. And I, this is the look I tried. That's why I was like, oh no, am I going to have to return the eyeshadows? Because it was just so oily. And I should have known better. Like I said, user error. But it just comes with a little look card, which my nails are not. I cut my nails off. And then this one just has the one, two, three. And I think when Jessica Alba has the tutorial, she re she describes them as shade one, two, and three. So her tutorials are easy to follow along with. I really enjoy the eyeshadows and I can't wait to try more. The packaging kind of reminds me of Mary Kay a little bit. And let's see, last that I got in the box was the Everything Tinted Moisturizer. Skin Perfecting Coverage, SPF 20. Now, the reason why I don't, I mean, it is very, very, it is very moisturizing for uh, a moist, uh, huh, what am I trying to say? It is very full coverage for a tinted moisturizer. I don't understand why they don't call it a liquid foundation. It is what I have on right now, and it works with my skin. My skin is very sensitive, and sometimes it's just a pain and it doesn't want to work with me. I got mine in Honestly Nectar. Now, going by the online swatches, I would have thought I was a shade down. I can't remember what shade it was, but I went into Ulta and I tried it, and Nectar was my color. And the packaging, this is the oil one. This one has oil in it. It's got, like, olive oil, uh... Yeah, sesame seed oil. The other one is oil-free, but I really like the oil one. I think this one has the most coverage, and that's all it is. And you would think that it is very thin. It is not thin by any means, and it's not going to look like it matches me, but once I blend it out on my face, it does. And it is pretty full coverage for what it is. And I use a beauty blender because sometimes it is a thicker formula. Well, sometimes the bathroom's cold, but it is a thicker formula, so you do have to use a beauty blender or wet your brush with the Honest Beauty Spray or your MAC Fix Plus. Uh, I already know what I'm getting on my next box. I'm going to get the spray. I'm going to get one more eyeshadow trio. I don't know if I want the mauves or the green. And then I'm also going to get the Dust, Re Dust Reflection Highlighting Powder, and that one just looks so pretty. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, any questions or comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe for to be notified of future videos. 
Thanks everyone for watching. Have a great week. Bye.